723 tech startups from across Africa applied for a space at Demo Africa. Only 27 were selected. It's been two days of feverish pitching for the finalists, all hoping to win over investors. We're looking at this idea behind Solstice, using data-driven approaches to help solve energy challenges. Our first product is called the eBox and it's an integrated hardware and software platform which allows us to monitor the energy usage of a household and show those usage uh, consumption data profiles to the user of the household through a mobile application. Radio Vibe is a social media platform but it's focused on radio and music. So it's an app where you can stream your radio live and you can also stream music live. But then how it's different is that you can also play on top of playing a station, you can then comment and interact directly with the radio station. So this means you're not just listening, you're also interacting directly with the radio station. Demo Africa, a startup itself, has helped raise $14 billion for African entrepreneurs at the forefront of the continent's technological transformation. Demo Africa is like, it's a worldwide phenomenon. And some of the greatest companies like Salesforce.com have launched through Demo Africa. And during the boot camp, they really taught us like what we should expect and how we should deal with investors and what to expect from a term sheet if we do see one, if we're lucky enough to get one. So Piggy Bank is a digital automated solution that allows everyone and anyone to save little amounts of money daily, weekly or monthly. So people can actually save like a dollar a day or you can save $1,000 a month. It's as easy as setting up a Facebook account. So you just go put in your name, email address, and phone number, you create a savings plan, you set the amount you want to save, you set the frequency, and you set your target, and the rest is automatic. Since we've been in um, Demo Africa, we've met a lot of people who are willing to take this concept into their countries and actually develop it and make it very popular in their countries too. It's been a showcase of talent from across the continent. These tech entrepreneurs have come up with innovative ideas for everything from running a successful business to better organizing your life. Research shows that technology has the ability to solve many of the continent's challenges like poverty and unemployment, but access to new technology is a challenge in itself. The first major challenge we faced was a payment system that you know you can use to make payments online and then you know PayPal doesn't work in Ghana and so it kind of makes it very very difficult to access some services. And then again to um, currency fluctuations because sometimes you, know, you need to convert CDs into dollars to be able to pay for, for stuff online. But it's platforms like Demo Africa that keep entrepreneurs interested in bridging these gaps. There's been a great diversity of individuals here and so that's been good for us and I know a lot of the other startups have had really great experiences and made great connections thus far. As Ugo mentioned, I think the support that we get from mentors and advisors as well as the programs that we've been involved in have really been key for overcoming sort of that, you know, question of can we actually do this? Five winners will be selected at the end of the conference and will each be flown to Silicon Valley in San Francisco where they will each receive funding and mentorship to develop their tech companies. Sumitra Nadu, CCTV, Johannesburg, South Africa.